The Mobius 1970 Ford F100 Custom Short Bed Pickup Truck. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again Ford fans. Are you ready for another amazing unboxing video as we take a look at this 1970 Ford F100 short bed pickup truck loaned to us today by our good friend James. Hi James, how are you doing? Hope you enjoy this video because I'm going to open up your model kit. <laughs> but you gave me the permission so that's okay. Hey everybody, if you love these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. So this is another great model kit that we are going to take a look at right about now. And let's roll the clock all the way back to 1970 as we check out this groovy Ford F100 custom short bed made by Mobius Models and Model King. This is another model that was loaned to us by our good friend James. Really cool stuff. If you take a look at the side of this box, you can see our Ford 240 straight six. And this kit comes with the exclusive 1970 grill. You guys might remember the previous review I did of the 69 Ford. So this is the revised version. And then if we look here, it's a skill level three kit. So, and there we've got our nice picture of the truck, as well as the barcode here, or sorry, the QR code and the barcode, and mobiusmodels.com. So you can check out all their other cool stuff there that's available. Now this is sealed as of this moment. So James has given me the permission to open up our box here and check out and see what's inside. I do believe this should live up to the very cool Mobius high standards. Buy plastic. <laughs> oh, don't wish it was you. <laughs> okay, so we get to open the box lid here. Nice fit on the lid. And uh, here we have a whole bunch of plastic components in the bags. Keeps everything from getting scratched and scraped up. Now I gotta remember how this goes together so I can put it back in the box for James later. Red clear parts and regular clear parts. We've got our tires in the bag. And then our parts molded in sort of a you know, sand kind of color, I guess. Very light sand. And there's the second bit here. With all our wheels, tailgates. There's the engine on the back. And then we get into our dashboard and interior panels. Suspension panels as well. decal sheet which is the mystery stay tuned for the end to check that out and then these beautiful full colored instructions and I think this is more of what we need in model kits for some of the other guys that are not Mobius that are creating model kits wondering what to do give us some full color instruction sheets so that brings us to the empty box which means that it's time to take a look at the instructions coming up next once I clear all this away Welcome back once again. Now, here we are taking a look at these amazing full-color instruction sheets. And I remember I worked at a Ford dealership and they had one of these on the lot. This is back in the 90s. But they had one of these on the lot that was like the service truck. It was same color green except it was green all the way over. Uh, no two-tone, just monotone. And boy, that thing was so rough. <laughs> Mechanics hated it because... You'd use it to uh, put some garbage in around the Ford dealership and then drive. And the thing was breaking down as it was going around. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm sure there was lots of good trucks like this out there. It's just the dealership, of course, didn't have a good one. <laughs> but anyway, so there's all the things about it. Your read this first, painting your kit, decal application, how to make it all work out. So pretty cool as we open up our instructions of course we see all these full panels this is our big full perimeter frame going in here with the right and left crossovers and then uh, or the, sorry the twin i-beam axle 
And here we have our motor mounts and the front cross member. More on our frame down here. There's the tie rods and the left radius arm, the right radius arm going on there. Way over here we've got our sway bar and the links. And then we've got our three-piece differential. Moving across here, we have the rear springs going on, right and left. Then our exhaust pipe, which clips all in here. And then our rear axle with the shock absorbers going in the back. And finally we've got our tire, spare wheel, and spare wheel carrier. Pardon me, over here. And this whole frame thing reminds me very much of the AMT 1953 Ford. Goes together much the same way. You can check out that review coming up right in here. A link for it. Okay, so there's our tires and the wheels press in. They don't have a wheel back ring like the 53 Ford. They're one piece that really clips in here nicely. And then here we've got our brakes going on. And then our wheels snap in. This is sort of the clip lock. The same idea as uh, Ravel has. And then finally we add on these nice little Ford dog dish hubcaps on here. And then we get over here into our next section, which is our engine. So this is a multi-piece engine. Very cool. Much like the 69 Ford had. So you got right and left hand engine blocks and the oil pan going underneath. Then the nice bell housing and the right and left standard transmission all goes together here. Motor mount left and right. And then we get our ignition coil, a fuel pump and filter, the distributor, the oil filler, or sorry, filter, the starter motor. Finally, our fan, fan belt, alternator, and front engine cover. And as we turn the page, we get our oil filler cap and valve cover going on our engine. And then we've got our intake manifold and exhaust. Finally, we get our upper radiator hose, heater hose, heater riser hose, sorry, going into the air cleaner. And then our carburetor on here. And the engine drops into the frame and is connected to our rear axle with this nice drive shaft here. Over into section four. We have the right and left horn, the windshield, side windows, the sun visors, the rear view mirror, and the rear window. And somebody was saying in the 69 review that the windows just pop in nicely and fit in really well. So that's always good news. Then you got your firewall going in here with your right and left brake master cylinder. And then what do we got here? Our radiator core support and windshield washer bottle. We've got a jack going in there and a battery. It's cool that the jack is up front here under the hood. Then, speaking of the hood, there it is with chrome trim bar in the front and right and left hood badges. Then there's a cab getting on the right and left door handles, the gas cap, the mirrors, right and yeah, right and left, windshield wipers, the grill, headlight lenses. So it goes together all nicely there. Section 5 shows our bench seat going into our floor pans here with the right and left side panels. There's a cross member goes up underneath and then the rear wall. And then here we get into more of the dashboard type of thing. There, Here we have our clutch, our brake, our gas pedal or accelerator, and the emergency brake all go into this pedal locator which glues up under the dash. We've got our steering column here with the steering wheel. And it'll all fit into our interior assembly, which will then pop up into our body assembly. Over here in section 6, we've got the right outer bed wall and then the inner right bed wall glues together. Same as with the left. And then we've got our uh, the floor of our um, truck bed, pardon me, our front wall here, our inner tailgate and our outer tailgate. Then that all goes together, and finally we have our taillight housings right and left, and then the little taillight lenses in there. Okay. 
Section 7 is the final assembly. Our hood goes down into our cab here. Front bumper gets glued on. Then this drops onto our chassis assembly here. And you gotta kind of wiggle it around to get it into the... Sorry, to get the engine bay around that engine. Once you do that, you can add in your lower radiator hose. Make sure your upper radiator hose goes into the hole on the radiator. Then our bed assembly will glue in onto the frame. And then the rear bumper or you actually have a choice here, a regular chrome bumper or the rear step bumper. And this also kind of looks like it would go together the same way as the 53 AMT Ford with these little buttons here with holes in them. So that's really cool. It would be kind of cool to see if you could swap the 53 Ford parts onto this. <laughs> I kind of doubt it though. But anyway, now here we have the awesomeness. This is what's cool about the full color decals. So you can see the uh, dashboard here and all the little gauges and everything and then how to paint your truck and there's the decals going on there and again look at how nice this is it tells you where to locate everything it's really cool and then on the back here there's more of our paint so there's all the different colors that the car came in when it was new I'm sorry the truck so all this cool stuff they even have a primer color here there's your auto light decal going on there. Yep, so really cool stuff. And I really uh, think it's cool that Frank Winspur here and his wife Joanne are making these great instruction sheets in full color and all that. Keep up the good work, you guys. Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you wanna get some great deals on model kits, don't forget to visit our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca and enter in this password here in order to get 10% off on your next purchase. You can use this password in the shopping cart at the checkout. Thanks again and please enjoy the rest of this video. Now we move on to our plastic components. And here you can see our great cab going on here. Really cool. <laughs> okay, so you got your little vents in here up along the hood opening. And then you've got your inner panels with the actual raised bit here, just like the real Ford truck. A whole bunch of sunken in detail. Your uh, door handle is going to go across here. It looks quite authentic for the car. Here, of course, you get your trim down along the bottom and along the side which is really nice. There are a whole series of mold marks underneath in here, as you can see, which are pretty high. So again, number 16 hobby blade, maybe a file in there just to clean and knock all those down. So it looks nice and neat. Along the back, you get all the indentations, little ribs here for the strength of the sheet metal. Nice detail on the window frame here. Up front, you get the proper looking front end. All these locations, little sunken in bits for where your headlights are going to come in. And overall, I would give this an A+. The mold marks, of course, you're going to have to clean up. So our first bag of plastic components includes four parts trees, as you can see here. And this one has the hood, the underpan, and I do believe this is the rear retaining wall on the inside of the interior. Then we have our bench seat here and our inner door panels. And these are molded separately. So again, I always like these because you can get a full door handle, just like this GM one here. Proper detail on that panel, as well as those armrests are nice. Here we have the outer truck beds at uh, the sides. And there's the inner sides and our floor here. So let's go from in this direction here. So I'll just move these off camera. And we'll focus here on our hood and underpan. Nice Ford letterings right across the front here. I do believe that does get covered with the chrome trim. Nice detail on here. And then there's the back. Looking fine. If we turn this over here, that gets into our interior. So there is some carpet detail molded in here, which is nice. The mold marks are under the seat, which you uh, could scrape out of there if you want, but no one will see it, so that's kind of nice. 
underneath the hood there's mold mark up in the corners four corners but it does have the nice matting or cross frames in here two other sink marks there back tailgate some more mold marks across there or sorry that that's the inner piece Go, should be across here I think yeah this slot here goes into that little notch there but again very nicely detailed components so let's swing that out of the way next up we've got that bench seat and you can see the nice upholstery pattern in here just dropped my stick <laughs> and then look at that detail there's a little grill on the sides as well that should be a fresh air vent turning it over of course mold marks but these might not matter because again they're going to be hidden up in the cab and of course under the seat well you're not going to be able to turn that over you know once cars glued together there are some little feet down at the bottom here which will go into these little spots here like so so again quite nice detail let's move into those fender sides again the trim along the bottom matches that on the cab so very nice again on the inside you get these little runners here for your floor of the truck bed but again there's sink marks going on which you should be able to fill and then sand down sand down maybe these ones on the bottom so when you flip it over you don't see them but the ones up top will be covered by the inner panels which of course are right on here so again lots of mold marks but okay so this is coming into the truck bed here on this side so along here those little mold marks will be hidden with the fenders there's the floor of the truck bed which looks really nice on this side but turning it over to the underneath again there's some holes in there but overall i mean this is nice work nice work for mobius so we'll just put these back here i do think this was the order <laughs> uh, okay well there's the those components from mobius so now let's take a look at the other bags our next bag consists of three parts trees and this one has the frame the little bracket for your pedals underneath your drive shaft your front axle supports here and then a plethora of engine components so your oil filter your alternator a uh, little cap there distributor upper and lower radiator hoses coil starter motor there's the engine Bra mounting brackets the starter motor not sure what that is can't see it from here <laughs> sorry oh this little thing here would be the breather cap for your valve covers or valve cover i guess there's your engine block right and left you can see the neat little spark plugs up along there too your air cleaner your pulleys and belt bell housing uh that would be that breather hose that goes underneath here your intake and exhaust manifolds, your radiator, oil pan, your front cover. There's the transmission left and right. The fan. Here we've got the linkage, steering wheel. There's those nice wheels. The, not sure what those are, can't remember. The rear bumper. There's your front suspension left and right and that bracket they go into, as well as the tailgate outer. So, let's uh, lift these up into the camera now we've got a nice frame there you can see it does look so much like that AMT 50, 53 Ford it's unbelievable nice little dots here for your location of your pedals I'll move that to the side here there we've got our tailgate and again Ford in big letters across the back here just perfect to the actual real truck nice detail on the springs and the suspension there there's that rear extended bumper for stepping on uh, then there's our wheels and you notice they've got the little thing in the center there that's a cap for your uh, front wheel bearing so remember that goes in the front and these ones are mounted on the back we got steering wheels just like the real thing turning it over of course not too bad on mold marks just a lot of little holes little bit of flash here and there overall really nice 
And then finally we get our engine components here. It's an engine block, nice detail on the sides, frost plugs of course, little cross uh, details in here. Fan, there's our transmission, nice linkages along there. I mean the valve cover is great, it even has Ford stamped on there. Catch it in the light properly. Excellent work again by Mobius. So very nice stuff. So there's our components again for that plastic bag. Now let's check out the other plastic bags. Here we have our final two parts trees in this sort of sandy beige color. There's our big Ford dashboard for this truck. The inner back of the uh, truck bed. The inner part of the real rear tailgate. There's our firewall there and our front radiator support with even the correct striker plate on here for your hood hinge. There's our steering column and it's notched in there too so you can align it properly. One of the braces for, oh that's a crossover for the rear tire, the uh, spare tire. There's one of the radius rods. Here's our rear differential there. That looks like a steering component. <laughs> There's our master cylinder here and our pedals as well as some braces for our suspension. The Ford battery. There's our brakes going along the back here as well as the sun visors. Here's our heavy duty rear springs, shock absorbers, and a whole bunch of little engine details and whatnot. Now let's just bring this up to the camera for a nice view. Move that off to the side. See the nice detail work on the dashboard. All the instruments and everything are in there. There's our tailgate. Let's just turn this over. Some mold marks going on here. There's Monogram, the big logo right in the back of that wall there. If you guys can see it. Yeah, lots of little mold marks and stuff. Again, that number 16 hobby blade is your friend, along with a file and some putty. If you really want to get super detailed and get rid of those. Overall, I would give this another A plus for detail on here. Really excellent work. Let's just take a look at our other components here. There's our master cylinder and brake booster. And of course, all our pedals. Nice detail, got the rivets right on there. <laughs> This is cool. This is the uh, spare tire, and it's got a sunken bit in the, the center here. Of course, it's going to mount onto that crossover bracket. But that's how a real wheel would look. There'd be nothing there. No hole, no, uh, no uh, bearings, bearing cap there or anything. So again, excellent work, just like the real thing. Those springs are really nice in the back. Perfect heavy-duty shackles going on. Just turning it over, of course couple of mold marks here and there but again not bad this will probably be hidden up underneath the car for sure under inside the cab so again nice detail work on these parts from Mobius here we have our glass components which again are really nice they do have this nice ridge around them so they will clip into the body perfectly and then of course our front headlights here and our rear tail lights which will looks like they slot through is quite nice so just bring this up here real quick again you can see oh, that nice ridge line along the top there just excellent work they have the right crossings in the headlight lenses just remember to get those so they run vertical and horizontal and not at a funny angle <laughs> which can be a challenge in itself and then of course our red tail lights here which look, look like the real thing only smaller now we get into my favorite components, which of course are the chrome components. And now on the cab, of course, we have all that nice chrome detail, which we're going to have to use some bare metal foil on that. But here's the rest of the chrome. There you get your nice Ford grill. And what's cool about this thing is it's actually hollow on the back. So you can see right through that grill, which is always nice. There we've got our front molding on the hood. And the right and left hand side little side marker lights and of course Ford emblems. Windshield wipers, the heavy duty mirrors, the rear tail lights. I guess they didn't slot through. They just sit there. They're banana shape, I guess. Then our front bumper and our rear regular chrome bumper. There's our nice little hubcaps. 
and then some of the other chrome details like the handles and the mirrors I think are up in there so I'll just we've already seen the grill so here's our nice Ford hubcaps just look at that perfect detail on there really excellent looking components again very nice looks like there's a bunch of stuff kind of clipped off here maybe at the factory not too sure I did open these fresh out of the bag <laughs> So here's the rest of our chrome components. Of course, the mirror and everything looks good. No real big major mold marks on these. And if they are, they're in spots that, of course, are going to be covered. So again, very nice work here by Mobius on this nice chrome. Next up, we have our tires. These ones are generic, so they're not like Goodyear or Firestone. Firestone's probably correct for the Ford of this vintage, I do believe. However, these are really amazing looking tires. There is a nice ridge along here. So you could paint the inside here as a white wall or just paint along the ridge as a white wall, depending on what you want to do, or even red tires, red line tires. And if we take a look at this here, let's see, where's that focal plane? Focal point, where are you? There you are. You can see the nice tread pattern along there. Really looks like the right type of tire. Of course, these could be Uniroyals or Canadian Tire style tires, Motormaster, you know, anything like that. So again, very nicely done. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, our decal sheet. And how many of you have survived up until the end of this video just to see this? Raise your hands. Did you raise your hand? <laughs> That'd be nice if you did. Okay. So let's take off our yellow paper here and see what we got. Now look at this. Wow. Look at all this. So there's our tailgate letters for Ford in four different varieties. So you got these silver letters with the black background. You've got black letters with the silver background. Straight black letters and straight white letters. Now look at all these license plates here. I just got to lean in a bit. So we have Ohio 1970. 72167S. So this is the kind of license plate that would really have been in Ohio back in the day. All the rest of these are California plates. California plates. California plates. So you got Holland. You've got F100, Ford, and Pickup. Now, I personally just don't like these personalized plates. No, I guess they're okay. You know, they're personalized, so... I guess it doesn't really matter. Here you've got showroom dealer style 1970 ones. Or 1970 license plates. Not 1971. <laughs> but I think the reason why I don't really like these is they're, again... Well, the Ford one's okay. The pickup one, I guess, is alright. Well, I suppose you could use these on other Ford trucks. Even the uh, aforementioned AMT 1953 Ford. So, I guess it isn't too bad. But, you know, like I said, you know, if... If you didn't have any other Ford trucks, you're kind of stuck with an F100. You can't put that on a model car. You can't put pickup on a model car because it doesn't make any sense. You could use the Ford ones on any Ford models you have. Same with hauling, hauling and pickup, you know. But if you do have other trucks, other Ford trucks especially, these would actually be really good. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Metziner's. So this, of course, you could use... Oh, Metziner's mufflers, pardon me. So these would be, uh, again, for your shop truck. And Sven's Chop Shop. Here you got your white uh, white walls. This is custom there. There's the dashboard decal, if you like. Ford blue ovals. And then there's your little turn signals. And that auto light decal right there for our air cleaner. So again, this is beautiful de decal sheet, don't get me wrong even though I personally am not really a big fan of personalized license plates. <laughs> but still, excellent work, excellent printing, and definitely worth the money. And that completes our look at the Ford 1970 F100 Custom Short Bed by Mobius Models. And if you've built this model, please don't be shy, share it on our Facebook page. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that amazing review. And man, aren't those colored instruction sheets just amazing? I love what Mobius is doing with these great things. I'd love to see something like the Hudson Hornet or whatever. Maybe James could loan it to us if he has one. 
<laughs> but anyway, thanks again, James, for loaning us this great model to take a look at. Hey, maybe some of you guys want to want me to review certain kits. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to do my best. But anyway, this is James Model. If you want to see what we offer you that you could buy today at Monster Hobbies, check us out our model car selection at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you love these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell because, hey, there's more of these coming out, maybe until the end of time. I don't know. But you don't want to miss that. So when they come out, if you pound that notification bell, you'll be alerted by YouTube. So until next time, everybody, happy model building.